What's up guys? I want to do a quick little video kind of going over what we've done this month, what we're going to do to close out the month, what we're going to do to start the month next month. I figure I should probably start doing kind of things like this every once in a while to give you guys a little bit more one-on-one -on -one so you guys have an idea what's going on and stuff. So we did a lot this month. Um, you know, we, we did... Uh, Hyperion in the beginning of the month. Uh, I just recently got a 556 adapter for it. So we can now see what this big old guy will do on 556. So that's something coming. Um, but we did that. We did, you know, a, a ranking video for all of our, our Nomad and Hyperion stuff. And then we got into our next version of our selective venting stuff so that looked like this right and i had promised you guys a research supplement after this video because while we we looked at the preliminary data in it we haven't yet put it on our ranking charts and looked and kind of compiled and and really talked about what conclusions we can draw across the board we went into a little bit with like 556 and stuff on it but that's as far as we've gotten with that <clears throat> what else did we do? We did all the Obsidian stuff. Okay? That was a big video series. We did the Mod 9. That was a big video series. These let us do what we were all leading up to, which was RSP, which was last week. And this same kind of deal, right? I've, I owe you guys a ranking video on this now as well, that we have all of these cans shot. And we can kind of sit down and go over where everything fell, all of our previous tests and the tests that we just did, and see where things truly lie on 9mm as well. So, you know, we, we've had a very busy month from, from live streams. We've had some good live streams. Uh, this Friday coming up, we're going to have Fakwa Precision Machine, FPM Gunworks. So... You know, that'll be Friday's live stream, but we had re the Resilient Suppressors live stream. That went pretty well for the most part. And we had our car accident, of course. We talked a little bit about my 556 host. And then we had our, just last week, our RSP week. And that brings us to our master post. So, we had a pretty busy, busy month. Um, but what are we doing from here, well, this week, basically, I want to give you those two rankings. I want to do our, our, our rifle ranking video, and then I want to finish up our, our pistol ranking research supplemental video, and then I want to drop a video about some, some flash and things of that nature on 556, and that'll give you three videos this week. That'll take most of the week to pretty much finish up. That'll end out the month for us. We'll have all of our previous projects, for the most part, basically done. And then we can start new projects. So that's kind of the thing. I didn't want to start a new project this week until I finished and given you all the things we've already promised, basically. So what cans do we have coming up? <clears throat> we have this guy right here. This is pretty pretty cool it uses some omega baffles it uses some flow kind of style baffles um it uses some big old deep clips in it it's one you've never seen before i could probably even preview it a little bit for you if you guys want to see so it's going to have a set of you know just a, a coaxial set it's going to have um uh, you know, something unique here with the blast chamber and, and we'll, this isn't the finished product, but this gives you a little bit of an idea of what this is going to look like. Uh, it has some very interesting venting and stuff going on and, and cross porting and things of that nature. So we're going to be doing that can. We've also got a big old 10 inch can that's officially on the, in the mail as of yesterday, back to me from getting record. So we're going to be doing that Form 1 can. We're going to have um, probably the Enticer for another Form 4 coming up here soon. Um, so that kind of gives you, you know, we'll do the Hyperion on 5.56 five, so we can finish out Hyperion stuff and be done with that. Um, there was some requests for a 300 Blackout Supers video. 
So that's where I'm going to need your guys' help. So I'm thinking currently, if that's what you guys want to see, that we select, I don't know, three to four suppressors off of our rankings charts. And and you guys uh, tell me which ones, you know, maybe the the top ones or, or, or whatever. And we'll shoot them all on 300 Blackout Supers. And we'll do a, you know, a big 300 Blackout Supers video. Maybe we'll work 762 by 39 into that. I don't know. It's up to you guys. Your feedback is wanted. So, um, yeah. So that's where we're at. You guys get a little bit of an idea of what we're working on for the next two to three weeks and what's kind of going on this week. And, uh, yeah. So uh, we'll talk to you guys later and we'll see you throughout the week.